Have him come down here and vouch that you're 18, and I'll let you go. Why are you chasing them? It's a long story, sir. But I'm cool. You got me. Control three, Charlie. Seven, Charlie, 45. I have a four pursuit. He's going southbound. Well, I'm not saying that I painted that. <laughs> There's black paint on the wall, and you have black paint on your fingers. Go get on the ground face down. Get on the ground. Do it now. Police officer, get on the ground. Get off that bike. Get off that bike. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. I see a female over here right now that uh, looks like she might be on the stroll. And what we call that is that she's laundering for the purposes of prostitution. Right now, she's, uh, she's walking up past the bus stop, and she hasn't seen me yet. Hey, hey. Are you going to tell me why you're walking in circles? I'm going to go meet somebody. Oh, mean who? How come I know you? How come you know me? Yeah, how do I know you? Where's your ID? I don't have my ID. Where is it? I don't know. Where's your ID? It's it. Where's your ID? It's where I live Because this is the thing. There's a curfew up on the strip. Do you know that? I just got out you, here. From where? From Victorville. California? Yes. OK, so you don't know that there's a, a curfew on the strip. No. So how do I know how old you are if you don't have any ID? You're on the boulevard walking. You got to tell me that you got some kind of ID so I know that you're underage or not underage and you can be out here walking. No, I don't have an ID. Do you have a driver's license? Never had a driver's license? No. Never had an ID? I've had, I have an ID. OK, from what state? From California. Come over here. Talk to me. Right here. What's your first name? Tamika. What is it? Tamika T. Tamika. Tamika. OK, you ever been arrested, Tamika? No. Ever been in trouble before? No. OK, let me say this to you. If you don't want to get arrested and you don't want to get in trouble, don't lie to me. You be honest with me, and your chances that you're going to walk away from me I don't care what you're doing or what you say you're doing, that's probably good. If I think you're lying to me, then it's a whole different ball game. Am I clear? We cool with that, right? Yes. OK. What's your date of birth to me? Six. Think about it. Six? Four of 87. Four of 87. That makes you how old? I'm 18. Where's your purse? I don't carry purses. I've so never carried purses. Where's your money? I'm not out here for that. I'm out here to see what I'm asking, no, stop, stop, stop. I'm asking you questions, and you telling me that you're not out here for I something. I don't have any money. The only reason I came out here is to see what this looks like. I've never, this is my first OK, time then out. we turn around, and then we start walking back the same way we just came. Is that normal? Because I just talked to my boyfriend, and he told me he was Where is he at? He's going to be over at the stratosphere. Is he going to meet you at the stratosphere? Yes. So if I go over there right now, he's going to actually come up and meet you at the stratosphere. Don't answer I'll, that. I'll don't. Talk to him Sit right that now. phone down, no? Don't talk. I don't want you to talk to her. You, you're 18, right? Yes. You turned 18 when? The 6th of this month. The 4th of this month. Oh, my god. You were making, oh, I'm getting, I'm the getting of The 6th of the 4th. The 4th. She could be giving me anybody's name. Stiletto heels, short dress, no purse. We turn around, and we uh, see the police, so we act a different way. And I'm going to see if she's going to come clean and just tell me what I need to know. Your boyfriend, who's blowing your phone up, knows how old you are, right? Let's call him and he can talk to me. Let's call him. Have him come down here and vouch that you're 18 and I'll let you go. Can he do that? Huh? What's his street name? It's Glaze. Glaze like glazed donut? Like Krispy Kreme? Answer the phone. That's him. Ma'am, can you come down here and let these people know how old I am because they're going to take me to jail if you don't. Well, of course, she's talking to her, who we believe is a pimp. And his thing is, he's trying to find any other way for her to confirm her ID other than coming down here himself and vouch. Last thing he wants to do is talk to the police. Be a woman and give it up. I know what you're doing. Say you are, and you get to walk away, and I don't need Glaze. Because you know Glaze ain't showing up. You know that, right? I'm not 18. My okay. name is Alicia Marie. All right. Well, Be honest. 85. Now, why didn't you just tell me that in the beginning and save us a whole because lot of trouble? I didn't trouble. want y'all knowing my real name. Tell him your name again. How old are you for real? I'm 20 years old. You're 20? Yes. Do you have some stupid warrants that you're trying to hide from me? No, sir. You can run that. You just don't want me to know who you are? If you, I don't want to have my name out here. Why? Because what? Because I don't want to get a reputation out here. For what? For prostitution. If you are, you are. If I know who you are and you being honest with me, when I see you, I'm going to say, get off my strip. 
So should I take you to jail today for lying to me? No. Huh? Because you couldn't, you couldn't admit to me in the beginning that you were doing what? That you were doing what? I was prostitute. That you was out on the stroll. Yeah. Tonight is your lucky night. You get to go home, but this is it. This is my strip. So you tell Glaze the shift is over with. I don't want to see you no more tonight. Understand? You be safe, girl, because it's going to cost you one day. Hey, right now, we just got dispatched to a uh, domestic dispute where the husband is ramming his wife's vehicle while driving on Foothill Boulevard. Paul 10. We're uh, in pursuit, both vehicles, eastbound Foothill, approaching Cactus. OK, the uh, Jeep's yielding. We got both vehicles yielding in front of uh, Carl's Jr. Get on the ground, get on the ground, taser, taser, taser. Why weren't you listening? Yeah, it's hard to move your head with that stuff. What are you guys doing? You go to the ground, you go to the ground. Why are you chasing that car? Why are you chasing that car? It's a long story. OK, uh, well, give it to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's cool. It's cool. Why are you chasing them? It's a long story, sir. But I'm cool. You got me. That, it's no, cool. it's not cool. It's it's a, that, that what happened? Give me the story about what happened. Uh, she's my wife. Uh-huh. And we were having problems. OK. And today just got out of control. So why are you chasing her? Putting all of us at risk here. You can kill people. I know. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Well, why are you chasing her? That hurt. Why are you chasing her? Huh? It got just, it just got out of control, sir. I, I mean, I don't want. I, what was you, the fight you, about? This is like uh, a ten-year-old fight. A ten-year-old fight? Yeah, yeah. They just, today just blew up. Let's go. Can, can you loosen up a little bit? Just a little bit, sir. No. Step in there. Watch your head. You're gonna go in with your butt first. Oh. Put your foot in. Why does she think the husband was trying to ram him? She's not sure why. Exactly me dejé why. Paz. He's had a bad temper in the past. He's been violent. Change the house, the house, the house. Tommy, me me. This came out as a uh, vehicles chasing each other. It looks like his ex-wife called in because he's chasing her in this and uh, rammed her car. We got some damage to his front end here. There's some heavy damage to her car. She's saying the car was in good condition prior to the incident. So, I mean, obviously, he, he did some extreme ramming to her vehicle. She's saying this is where he came up and started pounding on her windshield. Obviously, he was pretty angry. Where were you sitting in the car? In the back seat. In the back seat. How many times did he ram you guys? I don't know. It was like so many times. I, don't, I didn't even keep count. Was it like a high rate of speed well, he, or you guys? Yes, he hit us like four times. He, we smashed into cars, pole lights, everything. He wanted to die or something because we almost flipped over and everything. He didn't stop. He was on the phone with his daughter. I don't know. He just wanted to kill that guy. I don't know. Where did this all start? I don't know. An argument with my mom, I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> what happened? Did he punch the front windshield? Is that how that yes. broke? He just came up and started just, punching on it? He just got out of his car and started screaming stuff at him and just started punching and telling that he was going to kill my mom and me and, and the, the other girl. And, well, what all, what all, he was saying he was going to kill you, your mom? Everybody. He was going to kill everybody in the car. Hey, lean out here and talk to me. Yes? All right. They're telling us that you're calling them, and while you're calling them, you're telling them, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill your mom, and I'm not going to stop till you're they're all dead. Tell me, I mean, this is your one chance. Come clean. Why are you whatever saying all they, that? Whatever they want to say is, is okay. my fault. Well, did you call them and tell them that? Not that, but whatever they say is my okay. fault. I'll take the blame. They were scared out of their mind. I know, I know they were scared. Your daughter's over there crying. I know, I know. Your ex-wife's crying. They're all, they were all telling us sir, we thought we were going to die, sir, that you hit them 20 times. Not 20 times. Come on. You, did you see their car? Yeah, sir. Is that my car? OK, well, did you see sir, what you did to it? Sir, if they're saying that I tried to kill them, that, that I called to train them that I was going to kill them, I know I didn't say that, but if they want to blame me for that, I'll take the punishment. Okay. Punishment and just, I mean, right now, sir, like, if you want to turn the head up, it wouldn't matter for me, sir. Okay. Well, you're I going mean, to jail. Just, yeah, I know, sir. You know I what know. you're going to jail for? I know. What? You're going to jail for attempted murder. You sound here selling tabs? No, I'm not selling. Get on the ground! Yeah. 
while this truck was driving at high rate of speed, kind of reckless. We're just going to stop it here and make sure it's not stolen. Look at this guy doing a deal right here on this bike. This guy on this bike is doing a deal. Right Get the here. guy on the bike. Get down. Get down. Turn off the car. Turn it off. Hey, here. Get out. Get out. Turn off. Put the head behind your back. Put him behind your back. Wow. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Get his head, get his head. 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 Get Everybody all right? Yeah. Yeah. Shaking down. Why'd you run? Cause y'all turned over. I ain't got no Huh? I ain't got no room. Then why'd you run? Huh? What do you got on you? Well, you sold him some weed? No. We saw you selling with him, though. I got the weed right now. I call okay. mama and give her keys, man. Hey, buddy, talk to me, man. Talk to me. Why'd you run? Huh? So when we approached him, we saw him making hand to hand with the driver in the car, Hardy. No, I wouldn't. I ain't and then when we got out on him, of course, you guys were pulling up at that time, and then he, he tried to make it. Yes, and stuff. sir. So way to chase him down. Good guys. Way to go. He is a good dog, obviously. Hey, man. Talk to my supervisor. What were you doing with this guy? He's, I just know him from Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box? Which Jack in the Box? The one down the street. What's his name? I don't know his name. You don't name. know him? Then how do you know him? I just know him from working at Jack in the Box. I'm you just, just know speaking him? to him. Yes, sir. Well, what were you guys talking about? I was just saying, what you been up to, you know? He didn't say the weed? That's my weed. That's, That's your weed? Well, you're going to jail for possession of ecstasy, yes, right? And also the crack cocaine that you threw down. I ain't, I ain't throwing no crack now. You didn't throw that box down, huh? No, sir, out of hell. So all those five officers running behind you that saw you throw that box down, I was an XPO right up in there. I ain't had no cracks. But you said you didn't have anything when I first pulled it out until I pulled it out, and then you said, oh, yeah, I got X on me. I ain't forgot, sir. You forgot it? Yes, sir. I ain't got no dope on me. I ain't got no well, you, you didn't have it on you because you threw it down. I ain't, I ain't never had no dope on me. Ain't nobody seen me with nothing. All I had was X. You know, all you had was the X pill, huh? All right. All right, you know why you're going to jail? Seriously. For what? From what he just told me, marijuana. So. You're going to jail for what? Marijuana. Possession of marijuana, all right? Yes, Were you in boot camp recently? No, sir. Because you said, sir, no, sir, and I usually... Was, I was just in jail. I was just in jail. That's how I was raised, sir. Okay, what you just get out of jail for? Uh, I, I just got out of jail for uh, marijuana. Marijuana? Yes, so, how long did you do for your last case? My last case? Uh, I got, uh, they just gave me conviction. I did like 30 days. They gave you 30 days? How much was it? It was, uh, I, I, I can't remember, sir. Why would you risk driving around with marijuana on your possession, knowing that it's probably going to get towed when you get arrested? Just being stupid, sir. Just, huh? Just being stupid. Just being just stupid? I was just going down. Do you think it's that marijuana that maybe clouds your judgment sometimes when you smoke it? Yes, yeah, sir. All right. Yes, just hold on. Thank you, sir. All right, bud. We're out to back of one of our units who has a 211 suspect, basically an armed robbery suspect from this morning. That's him right there. Keep your hands up in the air. Walk backwards. I'm sending him to you. Stop. Go to your right. Side step to your right. Side step to your right. Keep walking forward. Keep going. I got cuffs, Sergeant. Keep going. Stop. Start walking backwards tomorrow with my voice. Keep walking backwards. Stop. Put your hands on top of your head. And lace your fingers. Spread your feet. Do you have anything on you I didn't know about? No. How much money do you have on you right now? It should be uh, close to 200. Close to 200? Yes. OK. Get in the car. Yeah. All right, Cynthia, we already know that you were involved earlier today. All right, we, we got the witness in, on their way here to do an NPL lineup. All right? So right now, right now you can tell us, say what happened. Let us know beforehand. You know, I don't know if you were just. A, you know what? Don't play stupid right now. I don't know what. 
You ain't told me what. You just saying you know I was involved in what. Okay, so you weren't involved in any theft earlier today? No. You don't want to talk about your, uh, is that your boyfriend with you? That's my fiance. That's your fiance? You don't know if he was involved in anything earlier today? We was together today. All right, stick to that story. How old are you, Tyrell? I'm 19. 19. Why'd she say you took the money? I didn't take no money. I don't know even know what y'all was talking about. She told us that we didn't stop immediately at the stop sign, which I was trying to see across both ways of the street before okay. I exit out. I mean, we're not talking about the uh, stop sign violation anymore. We're talking about a robbery that happened earlier, a purse I snatching. I don't know nothing about no robbery, sir. Well, right now your girl's saying that you did it, so right now's your time to talk. I didn't snatch nobody's purse. I don't have nothing else to say. Okay. All right, you can go to jail for it. Have a nice day. Male driver doesn't have a driver's license anyway, so we're going to tow it for 30 days. And then we'll just collect the evidence that way. All right, then we'll go back to the station. We'll get the eyewitness and uh, see the still pictures and everything, see if we can get him ID'd. He wants to talk to me, so I'm going to take him back to my office and see what he has to say. OK. And we'll go from there. Cool. All right, I'll let you guys know what happens. He looked like he wanted to say something, but he didn't yeah, want to say something to. in front of her. He wants to talk. Right now, we're waiting for the victim to come in, and hopefully they can positively ID the still pictures and the photo lineups that we have. Right over here, ma'am. Take your time. Remember, ma'am, these, these may or may not be the suspects here. Anything familiar in the pictures, just go ahead and point it out. Either one, two, three, four, five, or six. Like two. Number two? Yeah. And number two? You said number yeah. two? All right. So um, we're going to go try to recover your purse so we can get that back to you. Okay. Okay. For that money, sir. Right now, uh, okay. Detective okay. Jones is interviewing the suspect uh, who did this purse snatching earlier. I lost a total of $20. The person who got their purse snatched, I witnessed them picking up my $20 and whatnot. Before I got a chance to get to her to tell her that that was my $20 that she picked up, she had drove off. Okay. So I proceeded in following her. And when she stopped, I got out the car, uh, told the lady basically that you picked up my money. She proceeded and keep on going. Okay. And that's when I took the purse. All right. I regret taking the purse, but it's hard for me to come, come up, uh, Money to come by me, being that I can't find a job. It's not like I ain't looking. And I was telling our detective that he bought some clothes and he was going to give his girlfriend some money for the rent. So. Yeah, he's also saying that the female subject that we got is uh, also the driver of the vehicle when this all happened. I'm booking her as an accessory to robbery, okay? Because that's what you did. You robbed her. And because of the amount of money that was in the purse, it's also grand theft. Because the two of you were together and she drove you away from the scene of a crime, you guys went together. That's also conspiracy. And because of the victim's age, that's also elder abuse. That's four felonies right there. Ma'am, is this your purse? Mm -hmm. One of our officers located it. strange hanging all off of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of our officers located it exactly where the guy, the suspect, told us it was. We got the okay. suspects in custody, and they're going to go to jail for it. A caller reported that he's trying to impound a vehicle, but the owner got in the vehicle and won't get out. I ran the subject's name, and it looks like he has a misdemeanor warrant locally for aiming or discharging a weapon. So. Hey, Keith. Stanley, white male in his 40s. I saw he had a warrant. Let's detain him for now. Yeah. Is he still in the truck? Yep. Still in there? Yeah. Hey, Stanley. Do you have any weapons on you? Absolutely none. Okay, I'm gonna have you step out for a okay. I will not step out. Okay, well, I think we have a warrant for your arrest. Get out of the car. I will not Street step out. out. Okay. Get out of the car. Grab me. Got it. Get every hand. Behind your back. I got no cuffs. Okay. When we say get out of the car, we mean get out of the car, Stanley. You understand us? Yes. Do you have any weapons on you? I don't even have my license on me, man. That'd be a no, wouldn't it? 440 County, we have one in custody after pepper spray. Are you going to be able to stand up? Not without help. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> Grab the, here. Here we go. Ready? Up. Two. Two, I'll be off. Watch the And let's go back this way. Watch the glasses. Watch the glasses. Okay. I got it. Stanley, did you know about your warrant? 
if I have a warrant, yes, I know what it is. It's a failure to pay on a pointing a firearm or something. Yeah, aiming, aiming or discharging a firearm. I was illegally convicted due to the complete incompetency of my so-called private public defender. So are you saying you didn't know about your warrant? No, oh, I, I was aware of it. OK, how come you haven't taken care of it yet? Because I will not pay for a stupid ticket. OK, I'll help you. Turn. To your right. And then sit straight back. Watch your head. Well, we'll take care of that warrant tonight. How come you wouldn't get out of your truck after we asked you to a couple times? I wouldn't get out of the truck because I knew that was going to tow it. And there's absolutely no reason for him to tow it. Is it? There's a disabled sticker in the window. Okay, well, my partner told you to get out of the car. You said no. I said, well, Stanley, you have a warrant for your arrest. You need to get out now. <laughs> then you refused, OK? Was I violent in any way? Doesn't matter. Is Was it? I violent in any way? No, I wanted to argue the point with you. Well, when you got a warrant for your arrest, it's hard to argue that. Well. Right? Yeah. OK. OK, I'll talk to the tow driver real quick and see what okay. the disposition of that's going to be. All right. All right. What's your side of the story on the tow? My side of the story is it's an illegal tow. There's a disabled sticker right there in the window. Are they repoing it or just towing it because it's in a uh, it's disabled spot? It's because it's in a disabled parking lot. OK. I told him I'd get out as soon as he put it on the ground. OK. So it'd be, it's being towed because it's in a handicap spot. Yeah. All right. Do you have any disabled placards or anything on your uh, truck? Disabled placards on the dashboard. Oh, there is one on the dashboard. Yeah, it wasn't on there whenever he hooked up to it. I, oh. Yeah, it wasn't there. It was laying in the floor. I, that's probably why they called the tow truck, just because your placard wasn't uh, visible. Yeah, and when I walked out and told him that I am a disabled driver, yeah. he should have put it back down, because it was an illegal tow. You know, unfortunately, once they hook a car up like that, they won't pay, put it down unless you, until you pay them. So what, what exactly happened here? He's going to private impound. He admitted that when you got here, he didn't have the placard on his car. Yeah. And he put it on once he saw you. It was already hooked up. Yeah. So hooked up to it. Sure. And you just waited for us at that point? Yeah. Yeah, I just called the guys up. OK. Unfortunately for him, he's going to owe the tow truck uh, company money to get his truck back, and he's going to jail for on his warrant. Hey everybody, Law and Crime's Jesse Weber here. I think it's pretty obvious from how wild Cops Reloaded is that the world isn't always the safest place. Well, that is why I wanted to highlight our partner and proud sponsor of Cops Reloaded, Morgan and Morgan. You know from watching this show, one of the most unsettling things in life is if you get hurt. You don't know what to do. You don't know where to turn. Well, Morgan and Morgan is actually the largest injury law firm in America. I mean, 3 million people call them every year. They've completely modernized the process to make it super easy for their clients. How? Well, you submit your claim, you sign contracts, you upload documents, you talk to your whole legal team all on your phone. That's it. An attorney is going to review your case in just eight clicks. That is incredible to think about how quickly you can submit a claim and have them fight for you. And in terms of price, you only pay them if you win. There's no upfront fee. So if you're injured, you can submit a claim at forthepeople.com slash cops reloaded or by dialing pound law. That's pound 529 on your phone. Back in this particular area, we've got uh, girls that prostitute and guys that prostitute back behind these uh, smaller motels along the boulevard here. She walked across the street. You couldn't tell what she Hey, come here. I don't know. What are you doing? You're walking up to cars. I'm, that's my uncle. That's your uncle. Yeah. So when I stop him, he's gonna tell me he's your uncle. Stand yeah. right there. Yeah. I'm, that's my uncle. Hey, pull over. That's your uncle. Yeah. He looks pretty white. Uh, Sit on the hood of my car right there, dear. Hey, 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 hey. Four six four. I got someone running. Hey, stop! On the ground. Don't move. Four six four on Northwest Night. I uh, run. Get down! Get down! Get on the ground. Oh, 
over. Pardon me, uh, I did to the phone. Uh, I'm going to Park County. 464. I can't go to jail. You got one in custody for running just uh, south of the AISD building that houses the buses. Turn it all over there. Can you, can you please pick him up? Come on. Got your feet ready? Yeah. Get your foot on you. Come on. Hop up. Ready? Okay. One, two, two three. three. There you go. Can you get my shoe and stuff? I'll get your shoes. Make sure my money and stuff is in there. Why are you running from me? Because the fact that I don't want to go to jail. So you run? Yeah, because I ain't did nothing Hold wrong. still. Hold still. I'm not like going to jail. They got out of jail. They got to get to jail. Oh, Lord. Flash it to me, too. I'm going to Port County now. I'm going to Port County. Can you get my stuff? Yeah, I'll get it. Come here. Can you get my stuff? Can you get my stuff, please? Stick her in your car. Stuff, I'll get your stuff. I don't want to go to the gym. Come on. Put your car over there. Yeah. There's the taser wire. One hit her and hit that purse, obviously. The other one, I think, actually hit her in the arm, but uh, didn't make a connection. Here's her Potter County wristband. Oh, crack pipe. Is there a bullet in there? No, there's no bullet in there. No, it's not gonna hurt. You didn't feel it go in, did you? Okay. You ain't gonna feel it coming out either. Hold that light, right? Yes, sir. Okay, hold still. So you didn't feel that, did you? No. Turn around, let me see the front of you. Wait. Let me see your face. You're not banged up anywhere in your face, are you? Is it a wig you're wearing? No, it's... It's your hair? Yeah. How come you, what are you doing out here? What am I doing? Yeah, you're talking to people in cars that you don't even know. No, um, Tatrus, um, I got bills to pay or whatever, and, um, I have kids to take care of, and I'm trying to take care of my kids. My kids need a diaper, so I was out here doing what I do. And what's that? Prostituting? No. Okay. What are you doing? Um, I have a boyfriend that's supposed to be picking me up like five miles from here. Five. And, yeah, and I was waiting for him. And my boyfriend name is Raven. So what are you doing flagging this guy down? Um, he stopped me and um he gave me five dollars, so I took it and I don't care, I don't turn down no money. What did he give so, you five dollars for? Five dollars? I don't know. He said here you give me five bucks. Yeah, he just said give me five bucks, he gave me five bucks. So you're not out here prostituting? No. You're not. I don't know. We, we both were. I don't know. I'm not. Okay. Well, you understand you're going to jail, right? Yeah. From running for me, for being in the street, in the crack pile. Okay? 7 Charlie 45, I have a foot pursuit. Could you run away for jaywalking? My mistake. Dad, please handle this. Here comes my mother now. Here's a guy jaywalking. We're going to stop and talk to him and see what his deal is. Stand in front of the car, please. You're jaywalking, sir. My bad. You're bad. You're lucky that I was paying attention. Sorry, sir. Don't we don't shake hands. You got ID on you? At my house, but I'm. Where trying... do you live in? The motel. Motel. Okay. I'm going to talk to my dad about this. No, who's your dad? He lives at the motel. With me. So what's this? What's the deal with this guy? He was trying to panhandle from me earlier. Okay. So you were trying and to I get was away trying from to him. Avoid him. Yeah. But you jaywalked to get to the same side of the street as him? No, I was trying to get through here so I can go through the alleyway to the store. Okay. Go get a hot dog. All right. My dad. Okay. All right, what's your first name? Daniel. How about a Nevada ID? I had a California ID, but when I moved from my old apartment... What ID do you have in your apartment right now? I'm just trying to get you... Certificate. Okay, so you... line up my ID. But you else. did have a California ID? Yes, but I lost that movement here. What city was that California ID in? Officer, can you just let me off a warning, please? I'd really appreciate it. I don't even know who you are. You could be a murderer. No, ask my dad. Go and ask my dad. Are you his dad? No. All right. I, I know I, I can't ask another person. Would you? That's not a valid form of ID. Officer, this is my father. Hold on. This is my father. Go away. No, no, no. No. All right. Yeah. Hold on. I'll have to call you back, apparently. Dad, please handle this. You don't talk to hey, that way. Hey, leave. No. Yeah. You don't talk to that way, guy. Control 3, Charlie. 7, Charlie 45. I have a foot pursuit. He's gone. Southbound 14. Okay, okay, okay. Get on your knees right now. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. 
Control 7, Charlie 45. I'm code 4. He's in custody. Get on your face. Good morning. Make sure my... Cross your feet or your ankles. Bring it to your rear. Bring your ankles to your rear. Your butt. There we go. Do not move. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. I apologize, officer, okay? Ah! Officer, I apologize for this. I really do, okay? Okay, these are a little tight. What's your real name? I told you my real name. What are you running I for? I brought my dad over here to tell you the truth on that. So you told me your real name, but you run away for jaywalking? My mistake. Your my mistake? My mistake. My stupid, messed up mistake. Here comes my mother now. Mom, hi. You like my jewelry? She'll tell you who exactly who I am. Go and talk to him about hey, this. Hey, get in front of the car. I don't see what's going on. Get in front of the... I'm at Fremont 14th. Okay, please leave. Well, there's a... Hey, you see that guy with the white hair? That's this guy's father. He keeps calling him back. Please let that man know that he's going to be... He's going to go to jail for obstructing also. I've just told him. What are you running for? Trying to get my mother to actually get you to believe me on this. That that's your name? Yes, my name, my information, everything. So you wanted to run to your mother to have her tell me that that was who you really were? I felt it was a viable solution, but I guess it wasn't. What do you want to do with your hot dog? It can't go into jail. That was my father's. Together, man. You really can't, huh? Yeah. A little bit. Okay. Well, they're handcuffs, not supposed to be made comfortable, so have a seat, man. It would have been an easy citation for jaywalking, but he wanted to run and pretend he's someone else, and he gets to go to jail. So we're having trouble identifying that? Having trouble is? identifying who he is. Okay. Right now, we're responding for a report of a male white spray painting the side of a building. He's vandalizing the uh, property. Two male whites right there. Hey, grab them. What's going on, guy? That ain't gang related. You have paint on your fingers, sir. Yeah. There's black paint on this I'm wall. I'm an artist. This isn't a. This isn't an art school here. Well, I'm not saying that I painted that. <laughs> There's black paint on the wall, and you have black paint on your fingers. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any spray paint or anything like that. 4321, can you give me the description one more time? Hey, you have male white and blue. It's supposed to be short. Stand up for a second. It's nothing I can prove in court, but there's no doubt in my mind that you're tagging these buildings, all right? I can't call them back in. I'd like somebody to come over and ruin this, anything, something that you own. You think people want to see this stuff on the side of walls? Maybe they need to see it. Yeah, well, you don't own the building, don't deface it, all right? You want to paint on something, paint on something that's, that belongs to you. Keep that in mind. Well, I wish you would. No, sir. You got a point, sir. Thank you, I appreciate it. Where do you stay at? I am an American citizen. That's where I stay. You know what? Love my country, love where I live. It's a good time to be alive. You've been painting something else tonight? Is that why your fingers are black? No. How'd your fingers get black? Because I painted the wall, sir. You painted this wall, didn't you? Yes, sir. Why I would you do that? Over again. For artistic value, really, honestly, no other reason. What are you, what are you, what are you trying to express? I mean, just explain yeah. it to us. OK. If you'll read it, it says, now I've got a vision I want to see it through. What, what's your vision? What is your vision? I just want to say what I want to say. I want to express my freedom of speech. I want to, you know. Uh, you know, there, there's nothing wrong with expressing your freedom of speech and everything else. There's nothing Except wrong. if I got to pay money to, you know, get on the billboard or get it on TV. But, which is but on other people's property, 
You see the problem with it? I mean, really, I mean, your parents' house, what if somebody came over and rode all over it? it would I'd that... help them paint over it, but I wouldn't I mean, be stressed. I really wouldn't be stressed. That's you think they would be? Maybe, but... I mean, how do you think they would feel? They might feel uh, salty about it, but it happens. I mean, it would cost them money. Money is not the object here. Well... Money's the problem. Money's the problem. We live our lives in pursuit of money, and that is a problem, yes. All right. Well, it's definitely going to cost whoever owns this building money to get rid of this black paint on the side I think of the it wall. It is painted over with white paint. You think? Yes, I, I hope you're right. I honestly Are you going to buy the paint to paint over it? I got the paint to paint over it. Obviously, I got the paint to paint it. I got the paint to mm. paint over it. I'll do it any time. Well, turn around. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. You can pay it through probation. Can I just pay it to uh, spray painting it over in a clear white? That'll be up to the judge, bud. Do you work or go to school or what? I am about to get a job, sir. I do not work currently. I go to school at University of Cincinnati. You go to school at the University of Cincinnati? Yes, I do, sir. Uh, this is the kind of conduct that they teach you? No, in this university? is not the kind of conduct they teach. This is the kind of conduct they do on your own. Let's go. You're considered an adult in the state of Ohio once you're 18. You're a grown man, sir, right? And grown men don't go around painting things. I have a- Some do. I have a two-year-old daughter who uses chalk to mark on the side of the building. Yeah, but- she's a child. Yeah, but uh, not only two-year-old children do it, sir. All right. As you can see this evening. Right now, you're under arrest for criminal damaging. Yes, sir, I am. You're gonna go to court, and uh, I'm sure the judge will have you pay whatever it costs to get all this paint off the sidewalk and the walls, okay? Yes, sir. Maybe a judge will have him come out and... That'd be nice to get him out here him and scrub out the here Put him on the graffiti detail. Got a red Porsche up here, and the license plate's coming up on our hot sheet. It's stolen. So I'm going to light him up and see what he does. 398 County. 398. We're off of uh, Webb Street, pulled over. Felony stop in progress. Occupants of the vehicle, get your hands up. Do it now. Get your hands up. Get out of the vehicle. Don't reach down there. I will shoot. Get your hands up. OK, stand up. Turn and face away from me. Turn and face away from me. Get your hands up. Back up to the sound of my voice. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Go get on the ground face down. I'm not laying in the dirt. Get on the ground. Do it now. What is going on? I'll explain that in just a minute. Get on the ground. On the no, you're not. Lay down. Well, tell me what's going on here. Lay down. I'm not laying in the dirt. Huh? Turn and face away from me. No. He doesn't want to go along with the program, so be careful. You want to go ahead? And... Yep, go ahead. Turn and face away from me. Do it now. Go ahead. I got you. Can you tell me what to... Ow! You don't want to go along with the program there, pal? Then don't go along with the program. I'd like to know what the hell is going on. I told you I'll explain that to you in just a minute, didn't I? Vehicle's clear, one in custody. Cancel the beeper. Cancel the beeper, vehicle's clear with one in custody, 215. You're in possession of a stolen car. Tell me what's going on and what you know. Where'd you get this car? I got it from, uh... Come on, member. Member, I don't want to lie. I just want the truth, well, OK? And call... this is your one chance. Uh, folks call him, uh, JP. And uh, he told me his name was Jim. And what else? 
You borrowing it? Did he give it to you? Did he sell it to you? He, he was selling it to me on payments. Mm -hmm. And yeah. how long have you been making payments on it? I just got it. How long ago? Uh, yesterday. What kind of payments are you making on it? I gave him $1,000 down. You got a receipt for that? At home. You, you expect me to believe that? Well, why not? I mean, that's the truth. Because it's a, it's a newer, nicer Porsche, and it's not worth $3,000. And it's not worth somebody, some guy that you just know by initials isn't going to give this car to you without a title or without anything, any paperwork I showing it. a bill of sale and a registration. Well, this car was reported stolen last night, so something isn't adding up here. No, it certainly isn't. Get him out. We're gonna shine a light in his face so he can't see you. Oh, you don't know a guy by the name of uh, Doc. Well, he lives in a little. Forty six County. Yeah. No. Okay. Forty six two fifty five. Nah, man. You don't know him? There's no way I would know someone like that. You're not Al Lincoln for So you don't know that guy at all? No. Okay, this is what's going to happen. If, they, if the prosecutor chooses to charge him, you might have to testify that you did not uh, loan this guy your car, you didn't give him permission to drive it, anything like that. That's fine, man. Okay, you have a problem with testifying about that? No, no way, man. The dude stole my car. Right on. That's the kind of stuff I like to hear, man. I got on the bike. He's heading toward Rampart right now. Police officer, get on the ground. Get off that bike. Wait, what says his bike was missing? This is my bike. We're doing a little um, bicycle theft thing. This will be the bike we're setting up. We're going to put it in one of our most frequent locations, things being stolen. And uh, we got Detective Williams up in the parking garage being the eyeball. He's going to let us know if somebody gets close to it and what's going down. Now let's get this done. 1817, and I'm in position up in here. All right, everybody, the sergeant's got the bike in place. Um, still got units in place around the corners. Uh, chances are the bike will go pretty quick. It's right there on a very popular corner. Wow. <laughs> All right, heads up. We got an interested person. I got on the bike. He's black hat, white, black and white cap, green jacket. He's moving toward the Ivory. He's heading toward Rampart right now. As you right in front of him, as you right in front of him. Get a, police officer, get on the ground. Get off that bike. Get off that bike. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Where you at? Where you in the parking lot right there. Where you at? Oh, in the parking lot with the church van. Oh, put, your, put your wrists together. What the parking lot with the put church van? Together, put your wrists together, man. What I did? Stand up. Stand up. Chris, you know me, bro. Stop lying. Like that, dude. The white man says bike was going to my feet. Nah, that's a lie, dude. That's a lie. You can stop lying. Stop, yeah. Just, you can stop just, lying. We know what's going on. You can stop lying. You can stop lying. You stole the bike? Is this your bike? No, I'm about to bring it to the parking lot. This is White boy says his bike was missing. This is my bike. The dude said his bike was missing. This is my bike. Chris, the dude said a bike was You're missing from him, dog. This is my bike. I said it there. All right, but the dude said a bike was missing. I'm about to bring it back to why the parking lot. Why you gonna come get his own bike? Why you gonna come get his own bike? He told me he was gonna pay me about to find his bike, so I'm gonna bring it to him, Chris. That's a lesson you didn't learn now. Don't look for the quick buck. <laughs> Chris. Chris can't do nothing for you. Something wrong. What you been arrested for in the past? Do you have any thefts on your arm record? Hey, bro. Somebody told you to do that? Somebody told me that bike was No, I'm not saying anybody told you to steal in the past. You should learn your lesson from the uh, previous charges. The yeah. bike boy told me the bike was missing. This bike was missing. How long ago was that? That was just a few minutes ago. As soon as I walked down, not from this corner to that corner, sir. I'm not lying to you. We're setting it back up again, see if we get another taker. All right, everybody, heads up. Uh, Pops is back from earlier. Robert, you got something? A dollion or something on the front. Black stocky cap. Yeah, he's taking the bike now. All right, he's on the bike. He's moving up uh, 200 block of Gundy toward Bienville, toward Bienville. He's going up the sidewalk now. I'll read it one more. He's on the right side, right side. Keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on. Everybody, you got it, you got it. Hands behind your back. What up? Yeah, you can have it. I didn't know anybody was flanking. Give us your other hand, man. 
sir. That's your bicycle? No, sir. I just seen it sitting there. And it was okay to take, right? I ain't you borrowed it? No, sir. No. Who told you you could touch it? I ain't know who the fuck could take it. That's why you weren't supposed wild, to touch dude. it. Yeah. What are the names of the NASCAR guys in your wallet? Who drives car eight? You don't know the names of the guys in the NASCAR? You collect them, you should know. Yeah, that's my Damn. man with all the dollars on it. Damn about it. With all the Damn dollars on him. Yeah, he come by me. Look, who's that? Uh, that's, that's your bike? No, sir. I, I found it right there. And you just thought maybe you could just take it for a ride? I ain't no one for it. If it were for somebody, I would never mess with it. Of well, course, it's somebody's you, bike. It's somebody's I bike. It's not know. yours, is it? It's not yours. <laughs> How would you feel if you set your bike down, they even go somewhere somebody could take it? Would you, wouldn't you be upset? Yeah, I'd be upset, but it'd be gone. I can't do nothing about it. So you that just was, take anybody back? That was a nice bike, huh? I'm saying I wasn't taking no anybody. Was it? That was a nice bike, huh? It was it's pretty, I ain't seen it sitting there. Uh -huh. I just saw it sitting there. I just left all the burns. You got probation and parole? No, sir. What you been arrested? Hmm? Um, messing with violence. Another bike thief off the streets. Thank <laughs> you.